Hey everyone, Tyson the Subaru Specialist here. This is our Subaru Forester Touring. So Touring is kind of our mid-level trim. Things like alloys, sunroof, power lift gate. Kind of, kind of the standard. I know Touring in the States is a little bit, is their highest end. So I'll probably have someone comment on this video saying, no, no, that's not a Touring, that's a premium or something. This is our Touring. We've got the backup sensors in the rear bumper. They'll actually apply the brakes if it thinks you're gonna hit something in reverse at speeds of between one and 15 kilometers an hour. Very, very handy. Now this one just came in, so it's still got the cargo tray and the carpet floor mats in plastic. It's got the nice privacy cover, hides everything from the top of the seats down, keep things out of sight, out of mind. Now, if you don't like it, it's easy to remove. It's just a little telescopic piece on the corner there. Don't know if you can see it, there's a little spring. And if you take it out, you can actually tuck it underneath here and you can kind of see where it's meant to kind of go across so you can always keep it with you. You also have some usable storage underneath the false floor of the Forester. In the second row, room to fit three people comfortably across. There are two USB ports in the back. Keep everyone connected on those longer trips. Like I was saying, this is the first trim level that comes with the power sunroof. We've got power windows, locks, mirrors, as you would expect. We've got a power driver's seat, including lumbar support. Seats are very, very comfortable. Uh, black cloth with the bolstering. Now, new for 2020, the Touring model comes with blind spot detection. So it'll illuminate orange on the mirror on the corresponding side when someone's in your blind spot. Very, very handy. Left-hand side of our steering wheel, Bluetooth and audio controls. You can make it take calls, control the volume of the calls and the music. Right-hand side has our adaptive cruise. So I turn that on, you see the four bars and you can decrease it. Each bar is distance behind the vehicle ahead of you that you will follow at if you catch up to them while using cruise. So four bars is the most. So at 100 kilometers an hour, you're roughly 150 to 180 feet give or take a little bit. We also have lane centering assist that I just turned on. So long as there's lines and it's visible, it'll actually give you gentle steering input, keep you between them so long as you're above 60 and you can see the lines and I mean, kind of snowy out, icy out. So probably not gonna work in this weather, might, but no guarantees. Nice little information screen up top here. Sorry about the glare there from the sun, but you switch through it, shows you what tech's on, water temp, oil temp, weather, fuel economy all important stuff to know while you're driving. Now, we do also have dual zone climate control in this. You can see they're both set to high right now. So it ranges from 30 down to 15. So from tropical to freezing, depending how you and your pastures like it. And it's really easy to set it back to one. Yeah, right there. AM, FM, CD, satellite radio. It's also our backup camera, put it in reverse. Backup camera shows up. You can see the bottom of your, or the top of your bumper there. Let's you know kind of where you are in relation to everything. Rear assist braking's on, parking sensors are on. That's where climate controls are adjusted. Right hand knob obviously does passenger side, left does driver, that's the fan strength. We have heated seat time low for both the driver and the passenger. And then of course new for 2020, the SOS and the driver concierge service right there. And then a look at that giant sunroof. It is absolutely massive. So that's a brief overview of the 2020 Subaru Forester Touring. I'm Tyson, the Subaru Specialist. Talk to you guys soon.